Hello and welcome to Can Doodle. Today I'm here with a crafty card making haul video. I love watching other crafters film their haul videos and I've bought quite a few things this month so I figured why not film one. And I do apologize if you can hear any little snoring or sounds in the background. I do have my two little peanuts in the room with me so hopefully they aren't too noisy. Uh, and so here we go. So first up I got the Concord and Ninth Geode stamp set in the coordinating die. Uh, I've loved geodes ever since I was a kid and I had a really hard time finding these in stock anywhere in Canada. So when I saw them on Simon Says Stamp, I, I had to do it. It was, it was necessary. Next up, I got the Ink Blot Shop Arts and Crafts Sentiment set. Um, so I've had the Icon stamp set for a while and then I saw Kelly Latavola create a video with this as the central piece and using all of it and kind of doing a big Copic marker uh, sort of video and I fell in love and had to get that. Uh, next up, so this one I was like, I do not need this stamp set. How many times am I going to use ostriches? Um, but this W plus nine, oh my gosh, ostrich stamp set is too cute. I'm in love with these two and this one with his little head. And I've actually already got some like birthday cards planned in my head that I want to use these for and they're just too cute. So I had to do it. Uh, next up, I got some Simon stencils. Um, so this one is the Waves and Hills stencil. Um, I surprisingly didn't, I don't have any of the stencils that can make these Waves and Hills. I usually just use a die cut and then kind of create my own stencil out of paper, but I figured since I've been doing that so much, it might be worth having a stencil. Um, as well as this folk dance stencil, I've seen this used in so many videos by like Christina Warner and a bunch of other um, craft and card makers, so I've actually already used this on a couple cards and I just put it back in the packaging for this video. Um, yeah. And some CZ Designs Yay dies. Um, I thought that these were really good for like any sort of celebratory card and I find myself using a lot of uh, die cut words and sentiments now, so I thought those would be a good addition. I also got some Distress ink blending brushes. Um, so I've seen Jennifer McGuire use these lately in a video and I really struggle to blend when I'm not using a sponge dauber or a sponge blending tool. So I figured these might be something good to try. Um, so I will let you know how that goes. Uh, next up I got the Tim Holtz uh, replacement nonstick mat. So I actually don't have the glass media mat, but I've seen people using this uh, for ink blending and things like that. And I usually just use like a laminated sheet of paper, but it runs around my desk like crazy. Uh, so I figured at least this has a sticky side. So I'm gonna use that and see, but I have been eyeing up the glass media mat for many moons. So hopefully I will find it somewhere in Canada very soon. And next I have some Altenew products. I am a absolute sucker for Altenew. I love them. I think they're so elegant and pretty. Um, so this one is the Simple Alpha Dye. Um, and I saw Jennifer McGuire use this in a video recently. And I don't have a lot of small letter dyes. I have the big alpha ones. Um, and sometimes when I want to like make my own sentiment or maybe somebody's name, uh, those are a bit too big for a card uh, on the front. So I figured these would be a really good option. Like I said, I've been using a lot of word dyes and when I don't have a word, I can kind of just make my own. I am also one of those people who loves to cross stitch on cards. Um, so I had the pegboard die and I have a few of the paper smooches ones, but I didn't have this uh, more detailed cross stitch one. I've seen some really cool artists use them uh, lately to do all sorts of stitching on cards, so I really wanted to get that to try some things out. And next, the Altenew stencil release in July of 2018 was fantastic. I love all of these stencils. I tried not to get all of them, but I think I only didn't get a couple. Um, so this one is the Aztec Motif stencil, um, and it is so, so pretty, and I love the clean and simple lines of it. Um, next, I got the Flowing Drop stencil, um, and it is so pretty and so simple for like the card background or anything like that. 
Um, next I got the Step Builder Stencil. I have their Cube Builder Stencil, which is kind of the product that made me fall into card making. Um, and so this one is kind of similar, but it's a little bit smaller and like more elegant. So I think I'll get a lot of use out of that one. And next up I got the Molded Line Stencil. Uh, I've seen a lot of artists do such pretty things with this, like making rainbows and things on the backgrounds of cards, so I'm really excited to use it. And next up I got the Elegant Swirl Stencil. Um, and I just think this one is so, so pretty, uh, like maybe to use like a texture mousse or something like that with. So I'm very excited about all of these stencils. I also got, um, this one is still in the packaging, but it is just the Simon Says Stamp um, Ultra Clean Spray. I have the Ultra Clean Spray already and I was running out, so I got another one. I also got one of these big ink swipers. I have the little uh, daubers that are more circular, but I've seen some people use this for techniques and I wanted to try it out. I also ordered from Sugar Pea Designs, and I love Sugar Pea Designs. I think they're so cute and whimsical and fun, um, and their sentiments are adorable and so witty. So this is the Sugar Pea Designs Knitwit um, stamp set. Like, we'll always be friends. You keep me from unraveling. Sorry I was such a knitwit. Um, so my mom taught me to knit when I was four, and she likes to... Um, and everything that she hand makes, uh, knits, she puts like a little tag on it. So I thought these would be really cute for her to stamp on her tags, um, that when she gives away a hand knit sort of gift. Um, and then I originally bought this for her from Simon a couple months ago, and then I stole it back and was creating too many things with it. So I had to buy another one, um, so I could use it as well. I also got the matching dies, which I had been waiting and waiting to get, and they were always out of stock. So I'm so happy I was able to finally get these. And since I was already there, I figured I'd take a look around. Um, and I tried to put the brakes on and not get too many things, but this is a really cute um, banners die, and I don't have a lot like this, so I thought that would be good to have. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. I am hoping to film more crafty and card making videos and upload them more regularly. So if you have things you'd like to see, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And you can also follow me over on Instagram at Candoodle Creations. Thank you once again for stopping by and have a great day.